So I just finished everything for the Forbidden Tree number two. Let's see what else should I what what should I want for Christmas? One, I wanted to get critical acclaim. I also want a tripod, a director chair, all that filming equipment. Um, and a Jurassic Park toy. I need a Jurassic Park toy. I just need one in my life. Well, who knows? Oh well. Okay, um, let's put the tripod right here. Oh my gosh, there we go. That, that just... <sighs> uh, what the heck? JW. What kind of letters start with JW? Wait. I think I know. Okay. Um, hi, people of Century. Andrew plays one here, and we're back. Obviously, this was recorded in the end of 2016, I guess. So, um, let's get right into this figure. I mean, like, look, look at the screws. I mean, like, wait, hold on. Okay, so, this is from Hasbro, and this is from McDonald's. This is a McDonald's toy. Let's examine these two. And, surprise, surprise, both of these have screws on them. And McDonald's was known for having screws on their toys. And, you know, I mean, like, they both have functionalities. I mean, guess what this guy can do? When you wig his tail back and forth, like, left to right, he could... You know, do that. Okay. And when you pull his tail up and down, he just does that. I don't know why. Okay. And the Hulk, right here, um, what he can do is you have this little knob right here. And he just smashes his hands for some reason. I don't know. And, and we take a look at it. I mean, like... Look, look at the detail between these two. I mean, obviously, he has a scar and everything, and his treasure and everything. But look at his neck and everything. It looks like it's about to break off. And, and, but this... I mean, like, look at the detail of this. Just everything. There's even veins there. I mean, like... Wow, it's safe to say that McDonald's did a better job than Hasbro this time. Now, um, let's take a look ahead at, um, some of the dino figures I have. This one is greatly textured and detailed and everything. As you can see, it has the detailed look of a red eye, and its body and structure is just almost, yeah. Oh, besides, it's kind of, kind of like that. And it's, but it's pretty good. And also this one is blue for certain certain reasons. And you can see how greatly this one is. And just how the overall look and feel of it is just makes you feel like you're holding a real dinosaur. Now, um this is obviously another T Rex and I, I know I broke both arms and a leg, but we'll we'll just forget about that. We'll save it for something later. Um but if we compare it to this one has more detail and more texture and the feel and everything is just yeah I mean when you look at it it, it almost feels like as if it were real and everything like you're holding a little dinosaur and everything I'm sorry that's too weird but um see and, and then compared to this guy yeah so overall nah this doesn't do it for me I mean, come on, this is the first, um, Jurassic Park merchandise I ever had, and this is what I get. <laughs> but, um, I will use, uh, his ugly list to my advantage, because, um, if some people don't know on the channel already, series, haha, 
So, um, that's it. Bye, people. Such me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, gosh, it's... Okay, that's much better. Illumination! Okay, um, let's go ahead and check out channel and see what kind of videos I have with private video Jurassic World T-Rex review oh crap well better get that to public yeah.